In this chapter, we're going to look at the pre-training principle. The pre-training principle encourages instructors to identify key terms and concepts before asking learners to engage with the actual lesson material. This process helps learners progress to more advanced thinking as a lesson or course proceeds. Evidence suggests pre-training can help improve knowledge transfer and retention. Instructional designers often implement the pre-training principle in conjunction with the segmenting principle, which divides lesson content into separate but related components. Let's look at some examples. The website LinkedIn Learning offers a large suite of business and technology tutorials. Most lessons begin with short video chapters explaining the topic's practical value, core principles, and key terminology. Code.org is a not-for-profit organization that provides free online lessons to promote computer science learning. Most lessons start with an introductory video and show notes that define key terms and provide screenshots that help orient users to their learning environment. These screenshots indicate various areas on the screen, the available features, and where users can access these features. In deciding when to implement pre-training, instructors should assess whether their lessons are containing new ideas, vocabulary, or an unfamiliar learning environment. These things need to be provided at the outset of the lesson to provide a basis for subsequent activities in the lesson or course. Some guidelines for implementing pre-training are to consider who the learners are. Research has shown that pre-training is most effective with low knowledge learners. Instructors should identify what new information are they gonna be providing in a lesson and figure out a way to introduce these new ideas, new terms, new environments first before students have to use these ideas and information in subsequent learning activities. So pre-training is really all about managing cognitive load for learners.